So you know you want to buy and hold stocks. The question becomes, should you buy an index fund? First, an index fund is a really good idea for long-term stock investors. But it's not the best idea for three reasons. First, an index fund costs money. If you give your money to a financial advisor, you pay as much as 1% to 2% in management fees. That means if you invest as much as a few thousand a year, it can add up to a few hundred thousands after 30 to 40 years. That's as much as a small house. Now, an index fund is cheaper, but it still adds up to as much as a nice car. And you want that car to stay in your own garage and not in the garage of the index fund manager. Second, you may not be aware of this, but indexes are weighted by the size of the company. So a large stock has a bigger size of the index than a smaller company. This means that if a stock appreciates, its share in the, in the index gets bigger. And the result is you own more of the expensive stocks than the cheap stocks. That eats into your returns. And last but not least, you have risks. You don't actually own the stocks that the index fund owns. You just own a part of the index fund. This is called counterparty risk. You don't need to take that risk. So remember, if you want to buy and hold stocks, don't buy an index fund for three reasons. First, it costs money, money you don't need to spend. Second, it has less returns because it holds more of the expensive stocks. And third, it has counterparty risks that you don't need.